Welcome back to Almost Machining. Today we're going to turn this shaft into an arbor for balancing uh, grinding wheels. We'll get this cut off, get over to the lathe, start roughing down the arbor shape, we'll heat treat it, and do a finished grind. Here we are cutting that piece off from the little old bandsaw. I'm making it eight inches long. So here's what I'm thinking about doing. I cut the part off, I cleaned it up with some scotch Bright pad and the lathe, and I'm thinking that if I offset this from center, at least to the edge, or put the center of where a quarter inch wheel would be directly in the center, then that would put my taper going from yeah, about here to here and would still allow me to do uh, cup wheels to balance them as well and keep the part relatively in the center. I may shift this over to the edge a little bit which would be fine because it relatively keeps the weight in the center of this shaft. So I'm going to go ahead and get this over to the lathe, face it off, get some centers put in it, turn a center, uh, get this between centers, and or, or rough turn this down. I'll rough turn it down and then get it between centers and do a finished turn to straighten it out and start the heat treating process. So I'm going to be using high speed steel to machine this piece. Let's get after this. I want to make sure that the tool is on the correct center height. It's looking okay so far. Got a lot of stick out. I'm expecting chatter. Tools about right on center height. Let's see if it will stand this cut. Probably be stand up. Uh, maybe speed this up just a little bit. Alright, I put a center drill spot in, uh, turned more of this area down, pulled it out quite a bit more, 
I've got a little bit of run out right now. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to rough turn in the taper on this section right now to see if um, I get the alignment correct. Because I'm not sure how far over it's going to end up going. Let me get this set locked in place. Once I heat treat this and come back and grind it, that's when I'll take care of any of the small run out out. This taper seems way too steep. I have it set at 14 degrees. I think it needs to be something like 7. Because it might be an included angle. That's what it has to be. Let me change the setup a little bit. Now, and I'm training, so I continue to grow every single pass. You want to do this, I'm going to check that back. Stop. I'm going to go to the mission, I'm going to stack around the other side. Okay, I'll just run around here. I'll just run around here. Now, that's just me. All the reasons I have to do is they I need to get the taper angle a little bit closer to where it's actually actually at. I'm going to lightly chuck this up. See how true it's running. And then indicate along the inside. Yeah, I got lots of room. So right there, we're out to... Let me back this off just a little bit. Right there. up a little bit more put this back to zero and come back out Into the 
flat spot. It should come back up to zero. I think that's good enough for roughing in. That's an awesome indicator. Finished turning this. I really like the way that it's turned out right now. The arbor shaft goes on. The alignment for where half of a half inch wheel ends up is, is spot on for being in about the center of the shaft right now. We'll get the seat treated and see where we are after that. I don't think that's gonna be an issue though.